What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the current status of the Blizzard jailbreak for iOS 15.0 up to 16 beta for the Checkmate devices. I want to talk about what's currently going on in which stage I am with the jailbreak, what's left and stuff like that. This video is brought to you by Altphone iOS Location Changer which allows you to change your location on your device with just a couple of clicks on your mouse. And the program allows you to do single point movement, it allows you to change location directly and even go with multi-spot movement to any country in the world which basically allows you to change the location for the applications that require location services like some games and you know dating apps and stuff like that and even for privacy reasons you can even change the speed towards that location if you're going by car or bike and so on and the program is actually quite easy to use there are a variety of reasons why you would want to change the location but this program supports them without jailbreaking so the blizzard jailbreak that i'm currently working on is essentially my jailbreak for ios 15 based on the checkmate exploit essentially it would be something like checkrain but this one does not share any part of code with checkrain aside from the initial exploit which is checkmate but yeah what's currently going on well we got some progress in the past couple of days and i decided to make a new video at first i got the jailbreak to actually boot with custom logo and verbose boot which you can see in here um, i posted a video a couple of days ago in which i show it in action it shows the custom logo and then it goes into whatever verbose boot over here this is basically part of the jailbreak itself it's gonna have a custom logo so that you know you are indeed booting into the jailbreak and not into stock iOS because the exploit itself it can actually fail to go into pawn DFU mode and it may reboot the device and you know if you're jailbroken or not because if you are it boots with that logo aside from that I started working on an experimental kernel patch finder for blizzard so that I can apply the patches on the fly now of course with jailbreaks based on checkmate the most important thing is the kernel patcher or at least to supply a kernel that is already patched there are some ways to do this and there are different approaches which is I talked about more here on my uh, page. You can actually check out this page called Blizzard Jailbreak for iOS 15.0 to 16 beta current status. Here is basically the official page where I post all the updates to the jailbreak in real time. And you can see exactly what I've done and what is still left to do and stuff like that. But the way this works, I'm gonna use a slide from Team Star's presentation a couple of years ago because it demonstrates very well how the iOS boot chain works. Essentially with jailbreaks based on checkmate, you are here. So you run Checkmate, you run the uh, iPawn DFU to get the bootroom exploit and you would be here on pawn DFU mode. Um, nothing has loaded yet. And from here there are two pathways the device can take. Right now for testing purposes I'm doing RAM disks and stuff like that because some people were like, ah, oh, why are you using RAM disks? It's just SSH RAM disk and stuff. It's not. I'm using RAM disks just for testing purposes. Some people don't realize how little debugging power you have at this early point before the kernel even booted because there's no debugging bugger I can connect to, not with my equipment anyways. You can do that with development devices, but good luck with that. And aside from using basically term Z in order to redirect the serial output with a DCSD cable, there's not much debugging I can do with the boot chain. So being able to load a custom RAM disk, which would load either SSH or whatever, tells me that yes, the components were patched correctly. For example, the IBSS or the IBAC or the kernel and stuff like that, because otherwise these would not boot. You wouldn't be able to boot the blizzard ram disk right but in the end i will not be able to use this pathway over here for jailbreak purposes i mean i can it's technically possible but it's much more convoluted it takes much more effort to do because if you boot via ibss and ibac and load a ram disk and kernel you can load a custom kernel and i did that i already achieved that a couple of days ago i was able to load my own custom kernel with patched ibss ibac device tree and so on and even got it to boot verbose to that but if you do that, the root file system will not be mounted. The kernel would actually mount the RAM disk instead as the uh, file system because it will be prepared to do a restore rather than to boot normally. You can actually mount the file system, but it would be somewhere in MNT something so it's not going to be the root file system even if you have access to it which is tricky is is bad you can boot from there there are ways to do it but it requires more work some diamonds wouldn't start if you're in restore mode and stuff like that so the better pathway for the jailbreak would be going from pond bootroom which is basically from checkmate from the exploit straight to illb 
iBoot, whatever, iBoot nowadays, because on some devices like A10 and newer, they are basically the same thing. They share a lot of the code base with iBack being capable to do RAM disks and that's all. But this is the normal pathway that the device takes when it boots normally. In between all these, there are checks. Bootroom will check LLB, LLB will check iBoot before jumping to it, iBoot will check the kernel before jumping to it and so on. So each step is going to check each other out. But thanks to Checkmate, I can disable the checks on the bootroom and then I can patch each individual component to no longer check the new one, which I already did. I already have iBoot completely patched and I already have the IBSS, iBack device tree, RAM disk, whatever, already patched. I'm able to load a kernel that way and if I load the patched kernel like this and then the device boots and I install the Blizzard application, that application doesn't even have to be signed because at that point Amphi is dead. So you would be able to install from there Cilio and enable SSH and so on. But this is the preferred pathway for the jailbreak. The second one would probably work with a lot of effort and work but this one is the preferred one and this one is what I'm currently doing. There are some debugging things that I'm currently doing with iBoot refusing to boot on some devices and stuff like that. It's a pain, but that's currently what I am at the moment. I also started working on the uh, bootstrap. The bootstrap will essentially be Procursus and uh, the package manager will be Cilio because those are modern package managers that don't have to mess with patching CDI myself and trying to keep alive something that is long dead. I will leave that to pound own, but I will go with something modern like Procursus and Cilio, which I know I can get support for if they need an update and stuff like that. But yeah, that's currently what's going on with the Blizzard jailbreak. That's essentially it. If you want more info, you can definitely check out this page over here. I try to explain in depth how the jailbreak would work and stuff like that. But um, yes, I did manage to get custom boot with uh, essentially my own logo. And uh, I'm not using a tool for that, by the way. I know it's possible to do this kind of stuff with some tools, but I'm not using a tool. I'm creating my own separate files, my own patched firmware, which is essentially here. I have the DFU patched over here. Let's see, the kernel patched over here. I have basically the device tree over here and stuff like that. So I'm patching the components individually and then I'm sending them one by one after pawning the boot. So I'm not using a tool for this. I have to do my own patches. Anyways, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, stay patient and peace out.